Hey, fun video today. I'm hitting Lebanon, Ohio, Waynesville, Ohio, and I guess for lack of a better word, a house call. I'm gonna go try to buy some antiques, some good stuff for resale. Let's see how I do. Let's go check it out. First stop, Lebanon, Ohio, hoping to find something. Bought some stuff here in years past, but always from the same dealer. So that means that maybe the rest of them all, I won't find much, so we'll see. First stop, uh, really like this decoy. That's kind of cute. Here's this table, um, yeah. You can see Emily, yeah, no, no, that's, that's, no, 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 no. Okay, this is the booth. I've always, I bought a few things in this person over the years that I've always liked and done well with. Um, sadly, this time, nothing I can't live without. I actually met this guy at a flea market once. This painting's kind of neat. Relined, old, but it's been relined, so restoration. You can see on the sides in the back, relined. Um, but but not a not a, not a bad looking painting relined and uh terrible surface to it <laughs> but actually old those are kind of fun not for me though but kind of fun the the mall has like some legit real antiques and fun vintage stuff there's another bird this time on a stick 95 firm this jug is cool not old but sideways glance looks old these are not old either. Uh, really interesting that someone would make a fake sign about auctioneers. I don't know why that would be. But yeah, you can see. There's the price. Yeah. Good decor, but not actually period signs. Yeah, right next to the antique mall. What is that? Oh, it's a Thai restaurant. Yeah, buddy. I've been to this Thai restaurant before. Food is always really good. Excited for it. Emily's also excited for it. First dish. Oh, my God. That peanut sauce. Mm. What? Peanut sauce? Peanut sauce is so good. Great appetizer, great peanut sauce. Here's the main course. It's incredible. That looks great. Yeah? And it has broccoli. Yours looks great. It's so good. It smells great. Oh, wow. Very spicy. Oh, yeah. Okay, next stop, Early Country Antiques in Waynesville. Uh, I know her from the Nashville shows. She sets up there. It fits the name. Definitely a lot of Early Country Antiques, a lot of painted stuff. That was kind of cool. Great surface to that thing. Um... Look at these nice, nice painted blanket chests and boxes. I do love that one on the bottom. Great, great color combination. As you can see, yeah, a lot of good country, a lot of good surface stuff here. I did buy one thing. On to Wendy's Treasures up the street. Wendy's Treasures. Um, definitely a mixture of like newer vintage decor stuff along with some period stuff, some, some country stuff and a lot of signs. Plaid stamps, $175. Don't make me call my flying monkeys. Not old. Spool cabinet, definitely old. I don't know what these bring now. $475. On to this place. This place was actually next to the first stop, Village Antiques. A lot of period stuff in here. Definitely a little more shiny, less um, less surface to this. A lot more refinished stuff. Some good pottery. Look at all that ironstone in the background. Here are my two purchases. I bought this game board from the Early Country Antiques. I'm not big on the folding game boards, but I love the color combination of the surface of the inside, especially backgammon. And then I, Emily suggested I buy this quilt top. It has a nice look to it. We'll see how that does. Wasn't a lot of money. Bought that at the last store with the refinished furniture. Here we are on my house call. Guy has some bricks. Can't show the inside of the house, but really what started out was I bought this piece off a dealer friend on Instagram. He told me I decided to pick it up. Instead of having him ship it, I just decided to pick it up because it was on my way. And he said, oh, well, let's come see what else I have in my storage unit. And that led to these things. I bought this little pile out of his storage unit, bought this little pile out of his storage unit. And finally, this third pile of stuff all came out of the storage unit. Uh, no video of the place because it's private. But yeah, this for sale sign stencil or an old stencil hand made out of a piece of metal. The Jesus sign, cool sort of outsider art painting as well. I guess it's supposed to be Hollywood squares. Um... Has a neat look. Uh, Jesus sign painted on masonite. Has a nice look. Um, possibly a theater prop. This painting. I actually really love this painting. It's painted on foil and signed. Kind of a uh, neat little cityscape. Repent or perish. This might be a keeper. I've never had one of these. I've kind of always wanted one. Um, not super old, but old enough to matter. I bought the llama, the llama bean sign. Uh, that's neat. I do like the old farm signs sometimes. Not super great. Uh, poster. Poster was a bad buy. I thought that was a little older than it was, but I made a mistake there. Gas can. Kind of folky gas thing. You know, that's a guy repaint. Kind of neat. 
and the drum the drum the drum is supposed to uh has a history of being sold by some african-american kids to a guy in like a thrift shop picker shop um i didn't pay much money for it i would suspect it's actually african but it has a neat look so yeah. works it's been it's been a little over a week since I did this shopping, and I have sold a couple of these things already. I sold the game board in my uh, monthly email sales blast, so it's just it was nice. You should subscribe to that if you want to see the better stuff I find first before anyone else. And from the house call, I did sell the piece of pottery right away in a Facebook group. I was happy with that, and I managed to. Um, so I think I've only listed one, I've listed a few things from that house call onto eBay and everything, but I haven't sold anything to that. But I did sell the Jesus sign on my Instagram page. A few of the other things I haven't done anything with yet. So I'm hoping that, uh, I always, always hoping they sell right away when you post them, but we'll see. So there we go. Those were my purchases. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about them. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to follow my antiques journey as I go around and try to buy and buy antiques for resale my nomadic journey as i travel the country buying and selling antiques just hit like and subscribe peace